entire video was made only using one AI tool. And I hear you thinking, how is that even possible? Well, this tool is actually nine different AI tools combined into one place. It allows you to generate images and videos using the most popular AI video tools out there. You can even add in sound effects and it can make some automatic AI editing for you. So that makes it a pretty powerful AI video generation. But all of that doesn't matter if you don't know how to use it properly. And that's exactly what I'm trying to teach you in this video. So what I'm gonna show you is how I made this video right here. I will show you some other examples as well. And I will give you my complete breakdown of all the prompts that I use to make these images. So the tool that I'm using is called AIvideo.com. And the way it works is that after you sign up, you will get 100 free credits. This allows you to make a very short video. But if you're serious about it, I would suggest using my discount code. This will give you 20% off and it will give me a small commission which helps support the channel. So after you've signed up, this is the dashboard that you will see. Here you have two options. One is to create a video with a script. We're gonna do the second option, which is to use the editor. Now this editor is pretty powerful as it allows you to do everything into one place. For example, what you can do here is you can create your own visuals. So you can do it from an image. Then you have the option of using Luma, Recraft or Ideogram or even Stable Diffusion. Then you can also generate videos directly. I would not recommend to do this right away because this is more expensive and also this gives you less control of making your video. So here you have the option of Kling, of Luma and Minimax. Now, then you have the option of image to video and this will be my recommendation. So first start with images, then go over to a image to video. You put your image in there and then you generate a video from that. But before you do that, you actually want to start off with the first step, which is generating a ID. Now you can do anything with this. You can use ChatGPT. You can use any type of AI to help you with this. I'd like to stay original and come up with your own ideas and then later refine them using AI. So for my video, I had the idea of a classy man that lives a luxurious lifestyle and he meets a woman and he falls in love. Now, after you've established your ID, you need to think of your style. If you have no idea what kind of style you want to use, then you can take a look at my guide. I have actually like five or six styles described into it and you can use this as inspiration. Now, if we go down again to my prompts, the next step is setting up your prompts. So you need to think out each and every shot that you have. So this part is pretty important because you wanna use a similar style of prompting to each of your video to remain consistent. And AI video will actually like help you with that. It will help you stay more consistent. Now, if I go back to my project, I will show you exactly how I did it on mine. And here you can see with the first shot, I'm using this image right here. And that's actually this prompt. So a close-up of a man's face reflected in the mirror, early morning light streaming through sheer curtains, adjusting his color. Then I used the style for it. So cinematic Polaroid shot, vintage aesthetics, 80s vibes, soft morning glow, like all of that. Now that is very important to remain consistent. Then what I did is I made this image right here. So I used Recraft 3 Tree for this and I used landscape. I would actually suggest you to do like two or three shots each time that you generate so you have more options to choose from. Now, once you have the image that you like, you simply click on this download button right here, then it will download that image. Then you're using the image to video, you drop in your image and then you can start prompting it. So what you can do with the prompting is as follows. So I prompted it like this. I added a dolly tracking shot of the man adjusting his color in the mirror. So I add this in there, then I'm using Kling 1.6 as that is the best one in my opinion. I'm gonna keep it landscape and then you can adjust your time. Now with this, if you have a shot that you need in multiple different scenes, then you might actually use it for 10 seconds and then you can cut it up into pieces and you can put it like further over your timeline without it costing too many credits to generate it over and over again. So once you got everything ready, you click on generate and now it will start generating your scene all the way down here. Sometimes it just loads for a little bit. It usually takes around like 
three to five minutes, I believe. Kling is not the fastest, but it is the best quality when it comes to video. Once your video is ready, you can click on it and then it will preview it right here. And then you can drag it to your timeline. As you can see, that's pretty much the entire process that I did for my video. So for example, here I generated an image. Then I took that image and I put it like into the image to video generator. And then I did it over and over again to finally make my video. And the great thing is everything is placed in one timeline. Now for the video generation, I actually used a bunch of different shots. So if you have no idea what type of shots you need to use, then you can either ask ChatGPT or you can look at this guide and I give you like all of the different shot types that there are. They pretty much explain each and every shot. And then you can also take a look at my prompts to see how I've prompted it to make my shots. Now, once all of your videos are generated, you put them into your timeline. I'm just gonna show you on this timeline as an example. So all my videos are already generated right here. So what you do is you drag them in there, then you align them, and then you can move them around. For example, you can drag this over to the left to make it a little bit shorter. You can also, if you click on the file that you have, you can split it at the playhead. So that means that it's split into two pieces right now. Then you can press delete and that part will be deleted. Then let me grab this next bit. You drag over your next video and you do pretty much the same. So you can also look for places where you want to have your video. For example, right here, I believe this car was glitching a little bit. So yeah, I didn't want to have that much of a close up. So what I did, I just dragged it over to the left and I pretty much edited this on the beat. Now I did the same for the women that we see right here. So I have this generated like multiple different times because I wasn't quite satisfied with what I got. And I was also adjusting like my timeline while I got through this. So that will be your process as well. As you can see, all of these images, I generate like so many different versions of them. Um, even at one point I decided something to do with a tennis racket um, as I alternated the story. But then again, I came back to it and I changed it to this video so that's kind of like the process that you have with this. And keep in mind that if I were to use like video right here, then I would have used all of my credits just on generating these Kling AI videos. So that's why you always want to start off with the images as that will only cost you like a few credits. Let me actually check for you. It will only cost you like four credits per image. Then you can see if that's an image that you like and then you can make a video from it. It will take you maybe a little bit more time but it will actually give you a much better result. So then you continue to add in more and more videos through your timeline. And then if you want to add in some music, you can do so right here. If you go over to music, you can search for any type of music or you can simply upload your own favorite music. For this, I would suggest using copyright free music through either Epidemic Sound or Artlist. I will leave the link for both of them in the description down below. If you want to add in a voiceover, you can do so right here. I believe these voiceovers are from Eleven Labs, but if you want to have more custom ones, then I would just use Eleven Labs directly. The only downside is that will cost you like another five bucks. Um, so if you can find a voiceover that you have, then just click on it, type in your script, and it will generate the voiceover for you. The last part is a pretty interesting one is the use of sound effects and these are all AI generated. You can actually use the AI edit feature right here where you can click on AI edit and then you can add in sound effects. So you can basically prompt it to generate and add some sound effects that will match my current video well. That's exactly what I did and then it generated all of these sound effects and then you can just drag them on there and it will be added to your timeline. Now this feature is not perfect yet. You can do a bunch of other things but I don't really use it as I don't think it's good enough right now, but it's getting better and better. Like each time I use this platform, the platform is becoming much more better. It's also the same with bugs. Sometimes I have a bit of a bug that I have a black screen, then I simply have to refresh it and then it works again perfectly. Now let me show you another example that I have. And this is one that I think is such a fun project. So I have this one right here. So this project is pretty fun. It is a combination of animals and models and they both walk on the runway. So take a look at this. Now all of these videos are first generated using images. I actually use the hyper realistic style here and Basically, I just describe exactly what I want. It has a pretty good understanding of what you want. 
So for example, right here, I was trying to do something with fire, but I didn't quite get the result that I wanted. Um, so you can be as descriptive as, as you can. Recraft V3 does a very good job at understanding what you want. Now, once your video is done, what you can do is you click on download and then it will just download that video for you and then you can play it anywhere where you want. Now, the first time I used AIvideo.com, it was actually pretty bad. And now since they have like updated their editor and they're adding in new AI features, it's actually becoming much better, but still not yet perfect. So what I would suggest you is to try it out to see if you can create some good videos using the prompts that I shared with you and then decide for yourself if you want to keep it or not. If you want to try it out, then use the discount code DAN20. This will give you a 20% discount while it also gives me a small affiliate, which is very much appreciated. Now check out this video on the screen right now if you want to see how you can make consistent AI characters with AI.